Emmett Murphy joining me on the desk for a first look at sports. Now, the Lakeland Rustlers women's basketball team having quite the up, you know, up and down kind of season. Yeah, they entered the first half of the season of 2012 with seven returnees, but the loss of fourth year Brandy Levitt due to an Achilles injury has put even more pressure on the other six to succeed. So despite some adversity, the Rustlers are in prime position in a competitive ACAC as Moses Waldo catches up with head coach Chris King on how he felt the season has gone so far. It's been a pretty good year so far for the Lakeland women's basketball team. I'm Moses Wolden and I'm joined by Chris King, the head coach of the women's wrestlers program. How are you doing this morning? I'm all right today. No all snow. right. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know what? It's been a good first half of the year, a little bit of a struggle in between, but uh, just talk about how you guys assess the year. Going into it, you're a little bit smaller than most schools, especially in that uh, North Division, but how you guys progressed so far? Yeah, the plan's never to be small. Um, it's just the way it turned out with the kids we have in our program. Um, a great group of kids have been working very hard so far, um, and we're pretty pleased with where we're at. Six and three in the first semester. Our goal, our team goal was seven and two, so we're kind of right on par for that, um, right at the top of the division. So. Um, even with our lack of size, we're pretty pleased with what we've done so far. And uh, it, it really hurts when you lose a, a girl like Brandy Levitt, uh, another uh, player who has some post size and some physicality. But how has she been on the bench as a leader for the other ladies, as well as yourself, kind of being another coach on the bench? Yeah, um, you can't replace Brandy, fourth year post player. Um, she's kind of our energy leader, our spiritual leader on the floor. Um, so we've been lacking that department, but she's done a great job on the bench. Um, if you see a game, she's still excited jumping up and screaming and cheering. So she's done a good job with the younger girls, kind of mentoring them. I know it's really hard on Brandy not being there. Um, it's hard on the team. Um, we miss her presence, but she's done a phenomenal job helping us out on the bench and in practice. Leadership is one of the things that you look for, especially with the ladies that came from last season, Amanda, Amy, the two Americans that you have on your team. How have they developed as leaders and how has the team kind of followed them so far? Um, I, I think they're a lot more comfortable in our program now getting used to the FIBA game the second year. Um, as you can see, their stats are going up all the time and teams are keying on them. I think uh, they both do a good job setting the tone in practice and both have the potential to be dominating on any given night. Um, Amy's done a fairly good job being very consistent every single night fighting through uh, the typical fourth year pains, bumps and bruises, and Amanda's getting there physically, which we've asked her to step into a bigger role defensively for us um, compared to last year. So she's doing a good job in that tone. And then we have the two third years, Mariah Vantoff and Hannah Kreese McLean that have just been energy givers to the team and have really kind of set the tone every single day for us. What do you guys expect for 2013? The schedule is going to be a little bit tougher. It's probably going to be a little bit more physical. What can we see from the wrestlers and what are you guys going to develop through that second half? Um, I'm hoping with our rookies, uh, they'll be a little more consistent, um, giving us a little more scoring off the bench. Um, our goal is kind of the same thing. We want to be at that uh, seven and three, six and four. We want to be in the top four going into the playoffs. That's our goal. We kind of set that standard last year. So that's where we want to be. Um, and we know going into playoffs this year, one game playoffs, anything can happen. I think we're a very dangerous team come playoff time because we can shoot the ball so well and we have explosive scores. So um, for us, it's learning how to play against those physical teams that we see right off the bat, Nate and Augustana, prepping us for the playoffs. Chris, thank you for joining us. Good luck to your team in the second half. It's Chris King, the head coach of the Lakeland Women's Wrestlers basketball team. In AJHL action, the Bobcats wrapped up the first half of the season this afternoon against the Olds Grizzlies. For the second straight game, the Cats trailed heading into the third, but one for the second straight game. Jason Wark and Robin Carlson each had a pair of goals, and Braden Crone scored the winner with 10 minutes to play as the Bobcats won 5-4. The Lloydminster Universal Heat started the final and biggest weekend of the first half of the season with a tie against MLAC. The Heat were crushed 9-3 in the last meeting between the two, despite getting goals from five different players and outshooting Edmonton 46-25. They could only settle for the tie, and the Heat are currently matched against Edmonton SSAC, who they tied 5-5 earlier in the year. Meanwhile, the Lloydminster Rohan Rage head into the holidays riding a five-game win streak after beating Spruce Grove 5-2 last night. Five different players scored for Lloydminster. They're three games back of first with three games in hand. And the Baker Hughes Bobcats ended the first half of the season with a tie against the Lethbridge Pronghorns. The Cats are third in the Dodge Division. They'll be playing in the Max Tournament in Calgary this week.
It's time now for the New Cap Sports Play of the Week. We head to the Civic Center for a great goal by Dakota Toot Toot Sits in the Bandits 7-2 win over the Vermilion Tigers Wednesday night. The Bandits sit second in the South. 